Welcome back. I hope you did a great job on each of your five pages for A House is a House for Me. So today we are doing lesson 19-2, describing equal parts of whole objects. Yesterday we talked about equal parts and unequal parts. And today we're going to do the next step from that. So open it up to the middle and follow along with me. It says, you can describe equal parts of whole objects. The shape has two equal parts. So one, two. Now, if you color one of them, you would say one out of two equal parts is purple, right? One out of two is purple, okay? The first number is how many are colored, the second number is how many there are in all. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now there are how many pieces? One, two, three. And how many? So we have three equal parts. All three of these parts are equal. Two out of three equal parts are orange. So how many are orange? Two. How many in all? Three. So two out of three equal parts are orange. Look at this one. This circle, it's yellow. It's hard to see on mine, but you're looking at yours. There are four equal parts. There are, this is yellow, white, yellow, white. Four equal parts. Two out of four equal parts are yellow. So this is yellow, this is yellow. So that's one, two out of how many in all? There are four parts in all, okay? So let's do guided practice. It says number one, circle each shape that shows one out of two equal parts. Well, we look at this first one and is the, the key here is equal parts. Are there equal parts? No. Are there equal parts here? Yes. Are there two equal parts? Yes. Is one piece covered, colored one out of two? Yes, so we're gonna circle it. How about this one? Well, I see two pieces. There's a left side and a right side. One side is colored, so that one is yes. Does this have two equal parts? No, put an X on it, because it does not have equal parts, okay? Circle each shape that shows one out of three, again, equal parts. So. Let's search. Do we have one, two, three equal parts? Yes. Do we have one colored? Yes. Go ahead and circle it. Do we have three equal parts? No. We have three parts, but they're not equal. Do we have three equal parts? No. Those are not equal. Do we have three equal parts? One, two, three. Yes. Is one part colored? Yes circle it. Okay, let's look at number three. It says, circle each shape that shows one out of four equal parts. Okay, well, do we have four parts? One, two, three, four. Yes. Are they equal? Yes. Is one part colored? Yes. Go ahead and circle it. Look at the next one. Do we have four equal pieces? Yes. Is one part colored? Yes. Go ahead and circle it. Look at the next one. Do we have four equal pieces? No. Do we have four equal pieces or parts? No. Okay. It says, does this shape show four equal parts? Yes or no? What do you think? You should have written no. Why? Because each piece is not the same size and shape. Okay? All right, now you're gonna color. So you can use a crayon, you can use a colored pencil. Don't use a marker because yours will go through. These are really thin papers, okay? I have another paper I can put up if I go through. So it says color the given number of equal parts in each shape one out of two equal parts. So go ahead and color that. If you don't know what to do, just wait a minute. Color one 
out of two equal parts? Well, I have one, two parts. I'm going to color one part. So I'm going to color very neatly. And I'm going to stay in the lines. And I'm going to color one part. I colored one out of two. Okay? Number five says color two out of three equal parts. So with your crayon or your colored pencil, color two out of three. Well, it tells me I'm going to color two. So I'm going to color this one. That's one. And I'm going to color this one. Would it matter if I colored this one or this one or this one and this one? No. I just have to color two pieces and I have to leave one white because I'm coloring two out of three. Okay? Look at number six. It says color two out of four. Color two out of four. Go ahead and do that. All set. So I color this one and I colored this one. Does it matter which two? I could have colored this one and this one. I could have colored this one and this one. I could have colored this one as long as I colored two and left two white. Okay. And number seven, color three out of four equal parts. Go ahead and do that now. Color three out of four equal parts. Do that now. Okay, how many am I going to color? I'm going to color three. So I'm going to color this one. I'm going to color this one. And I'm going to color this one. Okay, so you can see I left one out of four pieces white. Okay? Okay. Reasoning. Two out of how many equal parts equals one whole? Well, here's one whole, right? If I color two pieces and that's the whole, then I only have two pieces, right? Two out of two equals one whole because there are two pieces and I'm going to color this one and I'm going to color this one. So two out of two equals one whole. Four out of four equals one whole. Three out of three equals one whole. Okay. So let's go to the back. I owe Mr. Bedard two rolls of painter's tape after this remote learning that we've done. Okay, so we're on the back. It says, solve the problems. Jane and her friend share a sandwich. How many parts does each one get? Show equal parts on the picture and then finish the sentence. Okay. So Jane and her friend. So how many people are there? Two. Jane and her friend. So we're going to divide this right in half. We're going to divide that sandwich right in half. So the question is, how many parts does each one get? So how many parts does each one get? Well, each one is going to get one. Right? Jane gets one out of two equal parts. This is Jane, and this is her friend. So Jane gets one out of two equal parts, and her friend gets one out of two equal parts. Does that make sense to you? It should. Okay, number 10. Which picture shows the pizza cut into four equal parts? Well, how many parts do I have here? 
two. How many here? Three. How many here? Four. How many here? Five. Which picture shows the pizza cut into four equal parts? Okay. Bob and two friends share a granola bar. Draw a picture to show how many parts each child gets. Write why the parts are equal. All right, here's the granola bar. So I have Bob and I have two friends. So how many people are there in all, everyone? Three, right? Bob and two friends, three people. So I have to divide this into one, two, three parts. One for Bob and one for each of his friend. And it says, right, draw a picture to show how many parts each child gets, write why the parts are equal. Because they're the same size and shape. So each person gets one out of three pieces. Right, that's Bob, that's friend one, that's friend two. Does that make sense to you? Okay. If you want to do the front, you can. You can make up as long as you, whatever you draw matches what you write. But you have a page in your book that you have to do. So your homework is going to be to complete page 277 and 278 and send me a picture. So I can, I just want to double check that you are understanding how to divide them into equal Okay? I'll see you in a little bit for science.